Hello and welcome to the tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to use PHP Coin, which is an invoicing and accounting software. Uh, it's included free as it's open source uh, and you can install it very quickly and easily with the XYZ server's uh, control panel. So to do so I've logged into my server here at the xyzserver.com and I'm going to click on the web applications installer tool here and if you scroll down you see there's a number of applications available to uh, our clients here and the one we're looking for is PHP coin so it's version 1.65 and you basically select a domain here your path you know you can some people put billing in here or uh, I do a subdomain billing.mydomain.com the admin user and email go here your password, go here, and you can just leave your database prefix as uh, phpcoin underscore and select automatic database creation. So you click here to install, and as I've already installed, I'm just going to navigate over to my installed applications here, and we can see that uh, phpcoin has already been installed and I click on the uh, URL here so I'm already logged in now I'm going to log out just to show you how to log in because it can be a, a bit confusing for a first time user um, the login box on the left here it's actually got my admin user and the correct password when I click login it says login failed due to incorrect or inactive username so this confuses some people as uh, this is actually the client login so what PHP Coin does is it gives your clients a um, a portal to, to log into with a username and password, so they can actually log in themselves and check their invoices, their invoicing history uh, with your company. So, what I need to do is click on Admin at the bottom right here. Once I've done that, it takes me to the administrative login. So now I'm on this page. I can log in with my admin username and password and now it takes me to the command center so I've logged in successfully and um, I can see here that I've already created some invoices um, I've set this up for a, uh, a mini bins company and I haven't used it yet but um, it's all been configured correctly and a, a few Canadian uh, clients of ours have asked us about the uh, the software recently as the tax uh, figures have recently changed in Canada they now charge um, 13% HST I believe so in the previous versions you may have had to do some custom editing to accommodate the tax changes whereas now it's um, as standard you can select that in your your parameters here so if I go to group all and I believe it's invoices do it so this is you can see all the variables here and you can see we've got our 13% HST here and we can edit that if we wish and the 5% PST so the two different tax rates you've got various other variables here and you basically just select uh, from the tab here click do it and it takes you to a different section to uh, edit and uh, I've already configured many of these. I've also added um, some products. Uh, as you, if you sell a lot of the same product all the time you can add a, a product here and you can see these we've set it up for mini bins here. So to do so you just add a new product uh, turn it on. So I'm going to call this one test product. This is it. The unit cost is a hundred dollars and I'm always going to charge 13% HST whenever I sell this product. So you can ignore all the information below here unless you wish to further configure the, uh, the software. And just click add when you're ready. So now I've added a new product. You can add all your products so that you haven't got to add them each time you create an invoice. And uh, the next step would be to add your clients. So you can see I've already added um, a test clients here. I've only got one client so far and you can edit the clients here so if I click here you can see I've got all my clients information um, you can even have notes um, additional emails associated with the account 
and um, so forth. So now if you wanted to create an invoice, you click on the invoices tab and you can see I've already created a few tested invoices that are all with do status. You can edit them here as such. But to create a new invoice, you just click add new down the bottom here and select do. So the clients also, I'm going to select the client's name here, the invoice date, the due date, I can leave that all as is. Billing cycle, one time. Change that and click add. So here we go, we've created our invoice, but now we need to add some items to charge the, the client for. So it's see the total is zero. So if you click on the product here, you can see we've got our test products that I just created here and the two other products that were also in the uh, products list. So I'm going to click on test product, check this box to add from the list below and click add. Now it adds my product. You see it was $100 and it's also added the 13% uh, HST. So our grand total comes to $113. And we can also, just to show you how it adds multiple items, we can add this as well. And you can see it's added that along with the additional HST. And we're going to select another product as well. There we go. And we're also going to create a custom product, a one-time one -time payment. And this is going to be for three hundred and forty seven dollars I'm just gonna charge HST as usual so to add this product up here I deselect this box and click add and we should see our custom product here we go custom one-time payment three hundred and forty seven dollars and we're charging a hundred and twenty three dollars and eleven cents in HST and now our invoice is complete. We've got a grand total of $1,070.11 and I can go back to invoice. So here's my customer who I'm billing. This will be my information that I have yet to configure. Uh, some more information here and the items that I'm billing. Now to send to the customer, you can either click this button to email it right away or what I usually do is print the invoice by clicking this button here and then go into uh, file, print as PDF, save as PDF, and I, I create a PDF and send it off that way. Um, so that's basically uh, the tutorial of PHP Coin, and there's various other uh, support uh, articles related to the software at the PHP Coin forum, and uh, we're also happy to uh, answer any questions you may have about the software. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, and uh, bye for now.